these beautiful young fold mountains of the south asian country india these are the himalayan mountain system they are the highest mountain range of the world and are a part of the central mountain belt of the asian continent so in our previous lesson we learnt about the northern lowlands that are located in the northernmost part of the asian continent in this lesson we'll be taking a look at the central mountain belt now from the very name we see that it lies in the centermost portion of the continent of asia and it lies right below the northern lowlands so let's learn about this vast stretch of mountain ranges that play a very important role as the second major physical division of the continent the central mountain belt consists of a range or a series of young fold mountains spread across the central portion of the continent we see that it stretches from the mediterranean coast to the bering sea and it lies right below the northern plains so to the south of the northern lowlands lies an extensive young fold mountain system we are talking about the central mountain belt so the central mountain belt as you can see consists of a series of mountain ranges we'll be looking at each of this mountain range as we proceed with our lesson now if you take a close view of this part of the central mountain belt you see that almost all the mountain ranges here are coming together at a central point as if they are tied in a knot Do you know this has a special name to it? So the place where you see all the mountain ranges converging is known as the Pamir Knot. The Pamir Knot is present in the country of Tajikistan. Now this Pamir Knot acts as a nodal point from where all the mountain ranges travel out in different directions so it acts as a single train juncture from where all the mountain ranges are traveling to different directions so almost all the mountain ranges of asia radiate from one nodal point and this is called the Pamir Knot Now to the east of this Pamir knot we have six important mountain ranges namely the Himalayas Karakoram Altin Tag Kunlun Teen Shan and Altai so all these six mountain ranges stretches on the eastern part of the Pamir knot The Himalayan mountain system is a range of young fold mountains and is one of the highest mountain ranges of the world. Now Himalaya is a Sanskrit word which means a dome of snow. You can see in the video itself how the ranges are covered with snow. Now the Himalayan mountain system is divided into three mountain ranges. The greater Himalayas known as Himadri, the lesser Himalayas known as Himachal and the Shivalik mountain range. Now the Himalayan mountain range also contains the highest peak of the world Mount Everest that elevates to a height of 8849 meters The Himalayan mountain range is one of its kind and it's a beautiful mountain range that acts as a crown to the country of India So here is a glimpse of the mighty Mount Everest A climb to the Mount Everest is what is in the bucket list of many Now did you know that a person has already done this beautiful adventure we are talking about Nirmal Purja now Nirmal Purja is a man who climbed the mount everest and is famous for this beautiful adventure to the north of the himalayan mountain range we have another important range that stretches to the east of the pamir knot we are talking about the karakoram range Just like Mount Everest is the highest peak of the Himalayan mountain system, Mount K2 is the highest peak of the Karakoram range and also the second highest peak after Mount Everest in the world. So, Mount K2 in the Karakoram range is the second highest peak in the world with a height of 8611 meters. Here is the glimpse of the 
Karakoram mountain range. So before we proceed with our lesson, could you help me answer this simple question? Of which mountain range is Mount K2 a part? Is it the Altai mountain range, the Karakoram mountain range, the Himalayas or the Kunlun mountain range? Well, the correct answer is the Karakoram mountain range. So Mount K2 is the highest peak in the Karakoram mountain range and is a part of this mountain system. Another mountain range extending to the east of the Pamir Knot is the Tian Shan. Now Tian Shan in Chinese means celestial mountains. Why so? Because this mountain range is covered with large glaciers and is covered with ice almost throughout the year. Another mountain that extends from the Tian Shan mountain range is the Altai or Altai mountain. So as we can see here, the Altai or the Altai mountain stretches from the Tian Shan mountain range. And this is another significant mountain range found in the central mountain belt. Now this beautiful mountain range is also famous for one of the most beautiful creatures found on the earth's surface. We are talking about the snow leopards. Snow leopards, as we know, are beautiful creatures and we can find them in abundance in this Altai mountain system. The Kunlun mountain range is one of the longest chain of mountains found in the central mountain belt or rather the Asian continent by extension. This mountain range stretches across the western part of the country of China and is narrower to the west while it is broader to the eastern part of itself. So the Kunlun mountain range extends from the Pamir Knot and runs across the western part of China. The Kunlun mountain range is another high mountain range and it also is covered by snow particularly during the winter time and a very significant animal found here is the wild camel. So wild camels are a unique fauna of the Kunlun mountain system. Finally let's talk about the sixth important mountain range that is the Altintag. Now the Altintag stretches from the northeastern part of the Pamir Knot and it continues into China. Now in midst of all these highlands and important mountain ranges, we have two important intermountain plateaus. Intermountain plateaus namely the plateau of Tibet or the Tibetan plateau and the plateau of Mongolia or the Mongolian plateau. Now the Tibetan plateau as we can see is surrounded by the Kunlun mountain range to the north and the Himalayan mountain range to the south while the Mongolian plateau is surrounded by the Altai mountain system. So these are known as intermountain plateaus primarily because they are surrounded by mountain ranges. So they are between mountain ranges and so they are intermountain plateaus. So the plateau of Tibet is the largest intermountain plateau in the world and is found in the central mountain belt of Asia. And besides that, another significant plateau that we looked at is the plateau of Mongolia. The Tibetan plateau, besides being the largest intermountain plateau, is also the highest one and it is often regarded as the roof of the world. So here is a glimpse of the vast Tibetan plateau that acts as a roof of the world. The Tibetan plateau holds the maximum number of glaciers and the largest amount of snow after Arctic and the Antarctic regions. So the Tibetan plateau has huge deposits of large volume of ice right after the Arctic and the Antarctic. So it is a plateau with the maximum number of glaciers that could be found in the world or on the surface of the earth. So we looked at some very important mountain ranges to the east of the Pamir Knot and we also found two important intermountain plateaus that is the plateau of Mongolia and the plateau of Tibet. Now right to the south of the plateau of Mongolia, we have an important desert, the second largest desert of Asia. Here we are referring to the Gobi Desert. 
the gobi desert is the second largest desert of asia after the arabian desert however unlike the arabian desert the gobi desert is a cold desert and it has recorded temperatures of minus 40 degrees celsius at times now this desert is known for its unique desert environment and many other unique physical formations that could be found only here now after learning about all the important physical features on the east of the palmer knot we also have some very important mountain ranges to the west of the palmer knot to the west of the Palmer Knot, we have Hindu Kush and Suleiman. So these two important mountain ranges stretches to the west of the Palmer Knot. The Hindu Kush extends or continues as Elbrus towards the western part of the continent and it surrounds the coast of the Caspian Sea. Now the Suleiman on the south also stretches to the western side of the continent first as Kirthar and then as Zagros. You can see from the very map that the Zagros and the Elbras come together to form another knot or they converge to form another knot known as the Armenian knot. So the Armenian knot is a nodal point towards where the Elbras and Zagros mountain system converge. Here is the glance of these three important mountain ranges. We have the Zagros, Hindu Kush and Elbers. Now right between the Elbers and the Zagros is a desert region and this is the Iranian Plateau. So the Iranian plateau is another intermountain plateau. Again, why? Because it is between two mountain ranges or it is surrounded by mountains on its sides. So the Iranian plateau is a intermountain plateau that lies between the Elbers and the Zagros mountain. Now the Iranian mountain consists of many deserts as I mentioned that it is a desert region. Now out of all the deserts found in the Iranian plateau region, let us look at the Lut Desert. So Iran's Lut Desert is one of the largest and the hottest deserts found here. It is one of the places where the hottest recorded spots have been found as per the NASA satellite data of land surface temperature. More than 70 degrees Celsius has been recorded here at 2005. In 2016, this desert was regarded as UNESCO's World Heritage Site. It is one of the newest World Heritage Sites. Now this desert is famous for its unique desert environment, rock paintings, natural sand dunes and unique formations. So in this lesson, we looked at the second major physical division of Asia, that is the Central Mountain Belt. The central mountain belt, as we saw, stretches over a vast area, mainly in the central part of the continent. And it contains a number of important mountain ranges. Each mountain range is unique in itself with some very unique physical features. We also took a look at two important intermountain plateaus, the Plateau of Tibet and the Plateau of Mongolia. Now besides the Palmer Knot, another important knot to the west of the Palmer Knot is the Armenian Knot that we looked at. Finally, we looked at the desert region that is found in the Iranian Plateau region between the Zagros and the Elbers. In our next lesson, we will be taking a look at other physical divisions of Asia and we learn more about them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.